guys. Congrats on Teenage Bounty Hunters. I love, 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 love the show. Thank oh, you. Thank you awesome. Oh, you're so welcome. One of the things that I love about the show, I mean, in my past life as a grad student, once upon a time, I've written a thesis about Buffy, the vampire slayer, and it's uh, the girl power movement, equality, femininity, the whole thing. This one is right along the same DNA, and I love it. Love that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's great. Now, let's begin with the basics. What got you attracted to joining Teenage Bounty Hunters? And let's begin with you, Miss Maddie, the bad assery of Sterling. <laughs> Well, there are so many things that attracted me to this script. I didn't get to read the entire pilot. It was like a really late, a last minute audition for me, but just the title alone really got me hooked. And, and the fact that Sterling was obviously a, you know, a, a child of God who was, you know, had a very strong faith, but was instantly trying to uh, you know, take her relationship one step further with her long-term boyfriend. I just thought that that was so, uh, such a unique, uh, endearing, hilarious situation. And that was my audition scene. So it was just mm. instantly a lot of fun. And I actually didn't know that it was Genji doing it because I didn't have, I like, didn't look, I like was too, too stressed to like learn my lines. But I think that's a good thing because I feel like if I went in, I would have like totally freaked out and been like, oh, this is Orange Jesse Black. The, you mean the only show I've ever binged? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what about you, Mr. Kadeem, the bounty hunter who runs a yogurt shop? Yeah, I uh, I read this script and I knew Genji was involved and that was all I needed to know, uh, other than the fact that I'd never seen these two worlds colliding before. These two teenage buttoned up Christian school girls and, and, and Bowser, an, an aging bounty hunter. Um, and I had a very specific way I wanted to play him. And I just had to convince the producers that it was all right. And it didn't take any convincing. As soon as they saw the audition, they loved it. And, and we, were, we, were, we were vibing instantly. So uh, wow. yeah, I read the script. I loved it. I wanted to meet Genji. I went in, I killed him. And here we are. And you pretty much created the, the, very, uh, the very basic skeleton of your uh, character. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, he's written extremely well. But I had lots of idiosyncrasies about him that I wanted to infused that weren't in the script and they were so open and they uh, Kathleen laughed at the first joke I made in the audition and I, I like her head tilted back and her jaw dropped and oh. she laughed so loud it almost scared me. No, Miss Maddie, I love I love the chemistry of everyone, but I really my the heart of course belongs to your chemistry with Angelica. How did you guys perfect that? It was really just the cosmic alignment of the universe. Uh, I, as soon as we met, we like fell in love with each other and, and we followed each other's finstas, which is just like another level of friendship. So like Kadeem, like the fake Instagram, I, did you, was that a puzzled face? You know, yeah, that was private that Instagram. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Kadeem's on our private Instagrams, but like, there's yeah. like a word for it. I recently learned the word. I think it's like a Gen Z word. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but we instantly followed each other's finstas, and we were like, "Oh, you're weird too. <laughs> nice to meet you." Uh, because the audition was in LA, and I have not spent much time in LA. And then this this girl from New York comes in, and she's just got this attitude, and I was like, "I like you. Aww. You're my people." So <laughs> it was really easy. <laughs> yeah. You know, for, for the initiated, why do you think they should start bench watching the show right now? Um, because there's so much to it. Like, you can start with episode one and think it's one thing. And by the time you get to episode three, it's another thing. And by the time you need to go get to episode seven, it's another thing. And then by the time you get to episode 10, it's a whole nother thing. Aww. That's it. You agree, Miss Maddie? I definitely do. Yeah, for sure. It takes a lot of turns and you're holding onto your seat the whole time. So Aww. one yeah. quick, quick question. Who's the sluttier twin, Sterling or Blair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're both beautifully, perfectly slutty in their own ways. That's right. That's right. Aww. <laughs> yes, I love that's why I love them both. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Good luck on everything. Okay. Thank, thank you, you, Manny. Manny. <laughs> Bye. Bye.